Well, Douglas Day is February 14th. It's a day that represents his birthday, even though no one knows the actual date since the activist was born into slavery. Yeah. As Emily DeVoe tells us, since that falls on a Sunday, University of Tennessee is celebrating on Friday. Well, joining me now is Katie Childs and Shayna Destine. They are some of the organizers for Friday's events at the University of Tennessee. So Katie, what do you guys have planned? I'm so excited to talk about this. Frederick Douglass Day is an annual celebration put on by the National Douglass Day Organization um, to celebrate the legacy of Douglass, who was a 19th century Black abolitionist, activist, and writer. And the national organization has a live stream that goes out across the country, and we get to take part in that um, to learn more about Black literary history and also to contribute to Black literary history through the transcribathon that we get to do. And now this year's festivities focus on another activist with some Tennessee connections. Shana, tell us about her. Mary Church Terrell is an activist, an educator, an author. Um, she was a the first black woman to receive a college degree in the country. She was she was one of the first black women to become a superintendent of a school system mm -hmm. um, in a major city. She was an anti lynching campaigner. She was a black a black woman suffragist suffragist campaigner. She was just everything. She until her dying day fought for this country to be better and to keep its promise to its black citizens. Mm -hmm. And she's from Tennessee, and I know you guys were both talking earlier about how hard it is to find her work. So this will be a, a real treat to be able to work through those with people around the country on Friday. Now, Shana, you are also kind of dealing with the library's involvement with UT celebrations. Uh, tell us what kind of things you guys are, are offering up. We are um, putting together a couple of short videos um, highlighting some of our collection that has to do with Black history, little known Black history, and also with things that we should be tying towards to, to this event. Um, we are still working out all the details. It was going to be a great surprise on Friday, but I'm excited about <laughs> that we have uh, ready for you all. Surprises are always fun. And you guys aren't doing this alone, Katie. You've got a couple distinguished guests who will also be coming in and, and talking. Hey, absolutely. So part of the time we're going to spend doing the transcription of the archive through an internet um, interface. And part of the time we'll be live streaming from the national organization. But it was important to us to also lift up uh, Black women here in East Tennessee who are doing the kind of work that Mary Church Terrell started. Um, so one person that we're going to be honoring is Dr. Nkeshi Alameen, who has a PhD from the University of Tennessee and has started the bottom here in Knoxville and doing a lot to lift up Black Knoxvillians. Dr. Shayla Nunnally, who is new to East Tennessee, she is the um, chair of Africana Studies and she's doing a lot to turn that program into a department. And then Dr. Bridget Fielder will be joining us from the University of Wisconsin. She's going to be giving a talk on um, Terrell on Thursday and then she'll be joining us for the celebration as well. So we're excited to celebrate those Black women. And it will be neat to hear from people who are carrying on Terrell's legacy all these years later. Um, the Douglas Day celebrations are Friday from 1130 to 2. It's all virtual, so you can do it from home. Great event. And even though the virtual event is free, you do need to register online in advance.